as we also watch what is happening in the aftermath to what we were reporting on exactly one week ago, the discovery of the remains in Kamloops, B.C. Calls are growing for a new investigation into exactly what happened at that former residential school. And there is a major development in that this morning. The RCMP has now, we know, launched an investigation into the remains, the discovery of those remains, and there is some criticism of the police involvement. Laura McQuillan is here with the latest on this for us. Laura. Morning Heather. The police haven't said what they have looked at or are looking at in this investigation. We got a press release yesterday from the RCMP saying that they've opened a file that they have visited the site of the former Kamloops Indian Residential School and that they've been speaking with members of the community. But they said in that press release that to Kamloops Tesh Gwipmik will be taking the lead on what happens from here. That's the First Nation which revealed the discovery of those remains at the former residential school site. They're waiting for a report from a radar specialist who carried out that work and that report set to come next month. So many different aspects of this investigation at this point in time, many different leads being followed. The RCMP is saying that they will work with leaders from the First Nation to determine what the best steps for them are going forward, how they could be involved in that process. But as you mentioned here, there already some criticism of the RCMP and what they've been doing here. We heard some criticism yesterday from retired Senator Murray Sinclair who headed up the Truth and Reconciliation Commission and he says that he got a call telling him about the RCMP investigation before they made it public yesterday and that he's concerned about the way that they have been engaging with the community. He was speaking yesterday to Parliament's Standing Committee on the Truth and Recon Reconciliation Commission's uh, calls to action and here's what he said. They are now beginning to question those who have made this story available and unfortunately uh, in typical heavy-handed and ham-handed police way, they are simply intimidating people uh, rather than helping them. And I think that we need to um, uh, have a discussion with the police about how they're handling it. So a suggestion there that they are questioning people in the community as though they were witnesses, potentially a, a sense that they are being grilled. I reached out to the RCMP because there was certainly no mention of anything like that in their statement, Heather, and I'll bring you an update when I get it. Thank you, Laura. Yes, we'll uh, certainly await new information. Again, the call from... Um Mr. Sinclair, for an independent investigation. And something else new this morning, Laura, there are calls now for the International Criminal Court to get involved in this. That's right. So 15 lawyers have written a letter to the Chief Prosecutor at the International Criminal Court asking them to investigate both the Government of Canada but also the Vatican with... Catholic Church running the residential school, uh, asking them to investigate those bodies for crimes against humanity. Now, we haven't seen a response from the International Criminal Court at this point, and I have reached out to them this morning as well to find out if this is the kind of thing that they would look to investigate. A hurdle in that being that the court investigates uh, the crimes since 2002. Uh, so this, what happened at the Kamloops Indian Residential School would have preceded that by decades, but there is the possibility that if there were some kind of ongoing cover-up or some newer aspect that the ICC could get involved. Uh, so reach out to them to find out more about that point. I'll bring you an update when we get that. Something we did hear back about just a couple of days ago at CBC News was the United Nations calling for investigations at all levels of Canadian governments, saying they need to be prompt and exhaustive and there need to be extra efforts to find missing Indigenous children. So a lot of different aspects at play here, Heather, and we'll keep on top of all of them for you.